व्हाट्सअप गाइज कैसे हो आप लोग सो so, आज काफी दिनों बाद प्लान बना है एक वन नाइटर राइड का एंड द बाइक दैट वी हैव विद टुडे इज समथिंग स्पेशल लोड्स ऑफ पार इन दैट मशीन आई गॉट दैट बाइक येस्टरडे सो थोड़ा बहुत मैं बाइक के साथ फेमिलियर हो चुका हूँ सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट हेड आउट टू द हिल्स टूडे सो वी आर ऑल सेट ऑल द पैकिंग इज डन आपको डायरेक्टली बाइक दिखाते हैं बाइक नीचे बेसमेंट में खड़ी है वहां थोड़ी सी uh, थोड़ा सा डार्क होता है एंड ऑफकोर्स आई एम प्रिटी श्योर यू विल इंजॉय दिस राइड एंड होपफुली इट्स गोन बी अ सेफ राइड सो लेट्स स्विच दिस थिंग ऑन एंड लेट्स गेट रेडी द ब्यूटिफुल टी एफ टी स्क्रीन ऑन द पैन अमेरिका लुकिंग वेरी गुड वेरी कलरफुल लोडेड विद इंफॉर्मेशन आई एल बी टॉकिंग इन ग्रेट डिटेल अबाउट द होल एक्सपीरियंस हेयर बट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड द फर्स्ट इग्निशन हेयर द रंबल इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट यू गेट ऑन द टाइगर so there is the machine guys the harley davidson pan america for you the 1250 cc monster from harley davidson first of its kind and let's get rolling the tft display is the highlight of this machine from the cockpit view that you can see right now the time right now is 11:24 am quite unusual for me to start the ride at this time since i have this bike for uh three four days i thought why not do a proper real ride review of the pan america rather than doing a simulated ride review that most people do so i decided to take this machine to the mountains so one thing that you will notice up front when you set aboard on this spaceship that we call as a harley davidson pan america is the loads of buttons on both sides of the handlebar i mean these are lots of buttons how many buttons do you see here you see a joystick set up here on the right i think this is some sort of a media control uh, you have traction control and uh, some sort of i don't know what is that voice assistant of course the ignition switch the mode button the hazard lights and on the left side of the handlebar four directional set up here uh, along with back button home button cruise control heated grips all that stuff hazard light horn uh loads of buttons and this unique looking button here uh for the high beam low beam and the dipper this is something that one will take a lot of time to get used to harley davidson i think has thrown the kitchen sink on this at this motorcycle in terms of all the electronics they can provide every damn thing is there on this machine kind of uh, cruising at 97 96 kilometers per hour we are in the cruise control mode uh, pretty comfortable what else would you expect from a machine that produces 150 bhp 127 newton meters of torque and is equipped with this amazing new engine from harley that they call as the revolution max so we are all set uh, we have pushpendra here who has joined me on his adventure uh a kind of a stark comparison between both the bikes here uh this is a 150 bhp and i think that one is close to about 17 18 bhp so almost 10 times more power here but let's see a uh, bike ride the ride hai bhai ride karne ka emotion hona chahiye so we are on the delhi meerut express way so it's time to settle down on a cruise and enjoy the cruise control feature here uh let's set it at a cruise of about uh 90 that is a decent speed to maintain on indian highways so let's put this machine into the sports mode and this s sign in red means that we are in the most maniacal mode that the pan america can offer and let's rev this oh this one this machine just wants to go in higher gears triple digit speeds are a breeze here and this can easily touch 200 and i'm just not in the mood to rev it out that much today considering the speed limits in place on this highway but this feels smooth talking about the overall vibes 
this bike has vibes that a typical harley would have uh, of course the v twin engine of harley have that little mechanical clatter that is also there one thing that i am definitely loving about the gearing on this machine is how tall the gears are uh, the sixth gear is a super cruise mode not a cruise mode why because most of the times when i am riding without looking at the instrument cluster without knowing what gear that i am in i kind of end up settling down on the fifth gear uh, which feels comfortable for cruising but when i put the sixth it feels like a free riding monster uh, very easy to ride feels super smooth uh, has a great affinity to take a lot of revs so sixth gear is the place to be if you want to enjoy the highways lo ji aa gaye pahad just joking just exiting this ramp delhi merit expressway and we are back on to some average roads the sun has come out and uh, it's bright sunlight right now and the display is still very readable i must say one of the better displays that you get to see so we are right now crossing merit and uh, bordering muzaffarnagar area that is where we are uh, there is a lot of traffic today unusually on this highway it's not a big six lane highway that you would expect but still there is a uh, decent traffic here to kind of keep you busy and dissuade you from touching uh, triple digit speeds so we are just ambling along here this is a 250 kg bike mind you but still on the move uh, the weight disappears as is the case with all big adventure tourers so nothing new here but you will get the same uh, weightlessness feel when you are on the move the bike feels very nimble the only time you realize that you are riding a 250 kg machine is when you take a stop and put your foot on the ground that is when you kind of start feeling the weight but at that time also the suspension settings are so good that the seat height is does not become a major issue talking about the seat height the seat height i think is about 850 mm on touching the windscreen i feel that the windscreen uh is a little flimsy it's vibrating there is some sort of vibration that creeps in uh even at lower speeds i'm not even riding hard right now you're saying 60 65 70 that's it right but still this could have been made with a much better quality material to kind of go along with a 20 lakh price tag of this behemoth that i'm riding right now and these fools that you see on these highways i mean what the hell man without the helmet taking rights and lefts no indicators this is crazy stuff on uttar pradesh highways very difficult to deal with such people and the moment you start ignore start ignoring these guys and ride hard somebody just tends to pop up in the middle of the road so see this guy you see this guy number one bullshit guy he do the wee woo wee woo pushpendra is kind of riding at a decent speed <laughs> he settled down into a cruise so 110 pm on the clock and uh, we are just about to take our first break on this ride which is at the midway point on the delhi uh, dehradun highway or the hardwar highway whatever you call it wow 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 amazing ride here we are 
finally finally and i come on this highway a lot I travel a lot uh, on the delhi hardwar highway but i tell you this is the first time that i am coming on my bike so this is a awesome place to park i believe and let's park it here <laughs> getting the side stand out is something that will definitely kind of take time to get used to the typical cruiser sort of a lump that is made on the side stand to ensure that your heel catches it but anyways we are here uh we'll have a chai uh from the nukkad one of my favorite places on this highway we have just done about uh, maybe like 110 120 kilometers uh we are about 141 kilometers from dehradun uh, where we'll be taking the next snack break and after that we'll start our ride on the mountains hopefully we'll be going till thanolti let's see how the ride goes just had a chai and a bun maska here and uh, the pan am is doing awesome very smooth ride so far lovely bike to ride and super comfortable so we are all set to start back <laughs> this is a very sort of a unique setup to get the ignition on where you twist it here uh, kind of reminds me of the classic 350 which also has a similar button to initiate ignition and inside this you have this unique button that is integrated and you press this side stand down warning okay it's up uh i was in the third gear oh boy and press this let's go and we are off again harley davidson for sure for sure gets a lot of attention on road every damn person was looking at it and inquiring about the price about this machine overall this is one bike uh, that will turn i would say 90% of the heads on the road <laughs> so you will definitely experience exclusivity with when if you are riding this bike anywhere in our country and to top it all this is a new model so nobody kind of knows whether a harley davidson can look like this so from a visual appeal standpoint this appeals to a lot of people and intrigues i should say Harry Dwar is 72, Urki is 44, and we are just about to enter Uttarakhand. A lot of number one bullshit guys on the road need a lot of concentration to ride here. Hundred percent concentration on road. Otherwise, a bullshit guy will come and screw you for life. for the initial 100 kilometers 70 80 kilometers it was like more about understanding respecting it now with respect comes the enjoyability factor since the body is getting used to the dynamics these sections of roads that have been newly constructed on this highway have uh, really kind of reduce the stress when one has to travel from delhi to uh, dehradun haridwar uh, 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 where to where to right to okay so welcome to haridwar kumbh city welcome to uttarakhand in fact and uh, about 100 kilometers left for dehradun and this is where we cross the uttar pradesh uttarakhand border dev bhumi uttarakhand mein aapka swagat hai but a smooth roads and the powerful pan am Let's go guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
no one ever said that i don't want more power in my machine that's what i'm experiencing with the pan am a 50 plus bhp increase in what i'm used to on my 100 bhp uh, tiger 800 and this feels like bliss and to experience these 150 bhps you do not have to make the motorcycle reach the top end it's all about how it reaches the triple digit speeds that you are comfortable in i am right now at 137 138 and the way the param reaches the speeds and stays put is so amazing so enjoyable Whoa, ho, 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 ho. 155 and this feels like it's just warming up we touch 160 with no fuss at all na, 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 pan america six gear is beautiful so amazing so happy the gearing especially the six gear is so good it feels like the bike this machine comes to life in the sixth gear welcome to the holy city of haridwar uh, we have taken uh, about four hours from noida to reach here uh, that includes the break that we took at the chai nukkar so essentially three and a half hours that is what it that is all it takes nowadays <laughs> So the Pan America reaches Harki Podi and here we are in Haridwar. The waters are looking pretty fresh right now. Chilly waters of the Ganges and uh, we are just 60 kilometers away from Dehradun. So it should be there in max an hour from here. Dehradun left and Rishikesh straight. So 33 kilometers is that is that's what's left to reach Dehradun surprisingly all we have eaten today all we have munched today is miles uh, no breakfast for me today just going on a kullar chai and a bun maska I think pan the pan america is satiating all my hunger today and really looking forward to reach Dehradun so that I, I can have something sweet Probably an Oreo shake. There in the background, I hope you can see the mountains and we are just maybe like 15-20 kilometers away from the mountains. So one question that comes to mind often about Harley is how does it fare in bumper to bumper traffic? Right now we are stuck at the entrance of uh, Dehradun city and it's a crawl right now. I think it is a rush hour for this city 4.30 pm and one thing for sure that you'll get is a lot of heat from the engine. So if you want to ride this machine uh, in city traffic as well then uh, better suit up and wear all your wear all your riding gear i am right now wear i am right now wearing full length riding boots and a proper riding pant uh, which has some heat insulation as well so after all that feeling a little bit of heat not uncomfortable in fact i'm enjoying it right now because of the pleasant weather here but in peak summers this is going to be tough to ride in bumper to bumper traffic so plan your ride accordingly or suit up with proper uh, riding riding boots and pants it's been almost an hour we have still not managed to get out of Dehradun and today I've realized that a jam in a city like Dehradun is much more worse than what we get in Gurgaon and Noida this is crazy stuff the streets are not just big enough to hold the amount of traffic that is there in this small city damn crazy and uh, through all this I have gotten a chance to kind of test out and uh, feel the Pan America 
the 1250 cc machine in bumper to bumper crawling traffic uh one thing that is good about this machine that it doesn't stall because of heating that is a issue that i see in uh, and i experienced it in my tiger 800 due to excessive heat uh if the bike stalls somewhere in between uh bumper to bumper traffic then it fails to start for some time you have to wait till the engine cools down in the pan america there's nothing like that so that is one thing well done specifically for such a big engine anyways i think we have kind of crossed the worst part i uh, we went through all possible streets and markets of dehradun to come to this place and i hope the turn to left which takes us to masuri is nearby so 6:35 pm guys and we have taken our second major break uh, we are just uh, exiting dehradun and starting the ascent to masuri so abhi bahut zyada like band baj gaya literally hum logon ko dehradun cross karne mein 1 hour 15 minutes lag gaye rush hour traffic yahan pe itna pura hota hai mujhe pata nahi tha uh, galat side se ghuse and i don't know where we went but it gave me a good opportunity to test out the pan america Uh, in bumper to bumper traffic it fared really well one thing that i am really impressed about that this bike even if it stalls does not create problems while starting because of overheating that is something that i experience in the triumph tiger but in uh, the pan america everything was fine although it is heavy but uh, i've gotten used to it anyways we just had a good snack break at the big bees uh, pizza cafe which i uh, cited last time around when i came here there is a jam that you can see of people who are coming from masuri so we have decided to kind of wait here for like good 10 15 minutes and then uh, go towards masuri which is like 30 kilometers so should be there in about an hour maximum hour and a half uh, but the bad part is that we'll have to ride in the hills in the dark which is something that i didn't want but anyways that is what was planned i guess for today yahi last wala So guys after that uh first meal break of the day we have started our ascent to Masuri the full led setup on the pan america is pretty effective uh in completely dark roads it provides very good visibility both on the low and the high beam and uh, yeah and the dipper is also pretty good to kind of filter through traffic and ask vehicles to give side masuri uh we have to take a right from here that's why i'm kind of waiting here too many vehicles and this big beast in in my hands and here we are let's go we are going to stay at the himalayan castle uh my tried and trusted hotel and let's go just maybe like 2 kilometers 1 kilometer been an awesome day uh turned out to be a decent ride the only pain area was the <laughs> the part where we had to cross dehradun i think there is a better route and we kind of took the wrong route where we had to deal with the city traffic Yo 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 So uh, finally we have reached the Himalayan Castle hotel Oh chalo bhai Finally 